Arthur. You know what? Let's not worry about shooting. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> Man, who said hell yeah? That was kind of cool though. I did a whole clip. All right, ladies and do rags today. Obviously playing Red Dead Redemption. I am so happy to be back on this game. We went through a whole little thing of like playing scary games or whatnot, which is really fun, but sometimes you gotta get back to that real shit. This that real ish, okay? This that stuff that's I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I know we we make a progress and this episode we're gonna make more progress. So if you excited for that, just like, subscribe so you can see more content coming from me and we get straight back into the gameplay. Oh, I forgot. I got that new shit on, y'all. I got that real nice looking cool shit. Ooh, and I see a baddie right on him be here. What's your name, baby? Evening, Arthur. Molly. Never mind. I remember seeing her last time and she was she's not my type. She's just not my type. Let's go see what Dutch talk about. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take no. Charles with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Molly, don't run into me like that next time. We're gonna have some issues, okay? Now, domestic abuse is not my lane, but it can get injured. Inter okay, let me... Let me go to Charles. Where you at, Charles? Who is this? Hey, Grandma. What's up, Grandma? Yes. What, Arthur? I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that smooth-ass move. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Come on, Charles. We ain't close like that, but I know you gonna watch my back. Who's this black man on my horse? Oh, Lenny. Hi, oh, you Lenny. cool. Hey, Arthur. You just throw shit at my horse, nigga. Mm, okay. Let's go, bro. Okay. Where your horse at, nigga? Where your horse at? Oh. I see you messing with the polka dots. You like the polka dots on your horse. Right. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Oh, yeah. He can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. Mm hmm. Something like that. Legally. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. See? Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. The damn There's Pinkertons. Bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's he's a strange one. I forgot who this dude was. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Oh, okay. Charles, you run in there deep, bro. You gotta check quiet. Where's this man at? You must, you know exactly Someone where he's at. Here first. Oh shit! So it seems. By the looks of things, it will. Where my guns at? Whatever. 
Check the house. If I find anything useful, I'm taking it. Pompeii, you know we like that. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Is that a cigar? Oh, I can't take it? I must be stocked up. You see anything there? I need to smoke some. Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company Certificate. Shut the fuck up, Nick. This is to clarify that is the holder of shares inclusive in the above company, subject to the provisions of the memorandum. What do you think? And articles of association thereof, and that the sum so it of, of, of things, it wasn't one dollar has so been cool. paid on each of the said shares. Out. Okay, you know what? Y'all don't want me to read it. I won't read another thing in this. Use eagle eye. Eagle eye. Eagle eye. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. Oh, he probably cut himself so shaving. That helm, Charles. I mean, he is the um. He is the um the investigator. Like he's good at looking at stuff and being like, okay, this is what happened. So uh, this is actually really good to be with you today, Charles. Just don't... struggle. Pretty recently, Look. I'd say. Tracks. Just maybe uh, twelve oh, hours ago. But nobody. Not yet. Hmm. All right, you lead the way, Charles. Down the path here. Oh, never mind. I will. How's your tracking these days? I'm chilling. All right. I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. Alright, let's get on. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. That's your all you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find him. Damn. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Who's Let's this man? see what those fellas have to say. Howdy, y'all. I'm just passing through looking for a certain somebody. Oh, my gosh. Charles is kind of disrespectful. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> Awkward ass laugh. Uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. Why, you take his clothes off? He uses a cane. Looks oh, a lot like this one. Oh, snap. Yeah. I'm about to get All right, you two. Where the hell is he? Go better get out of here. Nope. 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 I'm about to get a, a beating. Come here. Come here. Get away. Come here. Wait, what do I do? Choke his ass. The death. It's that easy, huh? I might not have. I sh probably shouldn't have killed him. Ooh, Charles know what he's doing, though. Are you Batman, Charles? Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Oh, oh, oh you gonna know something when I'm starting knocking them teeth out. Tell me where he is. Hit him again. You go to hell. Yep. You better tell me now. How many you times? Bitch. Okay. Okay. For Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. To do Where's what? Cornfields. Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. You know, uh, we gotta put you down now. You, you've seen too much. You've seen too much. Yep. See Charles in the back said, that's All it. Right. He that's approves. It. Charles approves. That's all I need to know. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Okay. Yes. 
I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah, and they their little leader, their okay. little mama leader. I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. Dang. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. Trelawney. I think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Yes, sir. I don't know how to do that. No, you never mind. What I say? I think Charles is actually Nothing's Batman. Never straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> at the That's same damn time. Him. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Mm, a weed of fish. I don't want to be a fish. I want to be a bear, though. The cornfields. Do I have time to clean my... Okay. Come on, boy. Um, oh. Trelawney, this is a weird time. Put the man down, gentlemen. The horse is in the way. I, okay. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Go get them off. I can handle this. Okay, but you pay me. You gotta pay me back. This must not go that far. There's another person that way. Oh, they're trying to hide, huh? Man, somebody ruffling around. Am I tripping? Where are they? Aha! Where the hell are they? Get your Arthur, bro. I think this was. It's night, night time. You yeah, you hear him too. You. Scared the shit out of me. They're gonna get away. Let's find him. Aha, mother. Sneaky snake ass snake. Where'd he go? Mother Night night. The other one's probably over here. One more, Charles. I know I'm already over here. Where you at? What is this? What? I didn't see him, yo. The bird's lying to me. No way he's over here. No. He's trying to trick me out. You know where he's at, Charles? Let me get over here so I can see a view of everything. See, if I look down this way, I can see all the way back there, too. I'm hearing somebody. He's breathing loud. Charles, are you sure you don't see him? Shit making me hot. I hear him. He said he's somewhere over here, huh? What the f- 
Yeah, that nigga was cheating. I was everywhere. He's mine. He, I am not yours. You get out of here. You have my friend. It's not your friend. I'll give you money. Right back, Arthur. Ooh. Charles. You were the right man for this job. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. That's okay. We can loot him anyways. Uh, shit. Thank you. Yeah, he was choking the hell out of me. Of course. You okay? Yeah. But I only have one pistol. Must be on my horse. Right. But I do know I need to get a, a new pistol. This one is kind of boo boo. Oh, they popping. Yeah, so run, dude. You know what it is? Change the bullets. This one does the most damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is all I need. It is dark in here. It's dark in here, Charles. There he is. Take him out. Okay, well, you see him right away, though. Oh. Oh. Sound different. He should be the last of them. You sure? All right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? The best. Sure best sniper. Come on. Bow. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slip. Free fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break mm. now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. I pick up so my enemy's hats. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters do us? Ah. Uh. I hope you're right. Clean this horse. While Charles gets here. All right. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me. Look for Dutch or me. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. Hell so yeah. I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. What do I got busy? What, 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 what am I about to do? Bounty hunters. Pinkerton. Oh, oh man. You thinking? Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. Oh, that's his diary. I mean, me one. Just to get the things off the dome piece. You know, you can't keep everything in because once you do that, one bad, whatchamacallit, and all that shit going loose. And it could be on the wrong person. All right, let us um talk to John. I was just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on you. Politics. Do not pop me. Damn jackass. Did you see this thing on my chest? You, f you f old fart. Wait, it's not on my chest today. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. But I need to go this way, anyways. Do I have a, I have a bounty here? I am a deputy. Kind of. In training, I think. Horse flesh for Can I dinner? Help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Got you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. A Mexican man. 
interesting. We drift in the knee streets. Who else horse know how to do this? Actually, you know what? I know you hungry. All that drifting got you. Got you tuckered out. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. Oh. Met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. Mm. We've got gold. I don't know what Yankee, Yankee means, friend. but... I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Okay. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? This man's Nothing. racist, I could tell. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. So do. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Damn, what was that look, Arthur? You trying to... Yeah, okay. You looking for enemies. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. I wouldn't mess with Arthur, though. One look at this dude, you could tell he done kill some people. In front of you. On you go. I've choked like two people out in the last 10 minutes. But y'all don't know that. Especially him. He probably don't know nothing but planting seeds and trees. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But Good old man. If we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. I like how you think, boy. Because I definitely would not have came up with that plan. My plan would have gone straight through the Careful. front. The guard. I'll speak to him, okay? And shoot whoever I see right. on sight. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah. Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. You were too easy to persuade, brother. That's why they got you in the back. That's why they got you in the back, all by yourself, lonely. Actually, that doesn't make sense. That's bad. That's a bad part on the Braithwaite's. You got terrible security. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. It's a lot of Don't land. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Yep. Head around the front, hitch up there. Mm-hmm. All right, let's hitch up here. Right on over here. 
Asia. I gotta feed my horse before we go, talk. though. You know what? Never mind. We'll just give you a good little pet. There's no appreciation. I'll eventually get that skin hide off your back. But as of right now, we got business to take care of. Let's go. Howdy, partner. Can I talk to you? Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You we about to hurt you. Greaser buddy. Whoa. I don't like officials. We See? ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. Yeah, that's why you're sit on the floor. Mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Um. Cerberus is a real just gonna put him to sleep. Stud. Fathered many a race winner. A race winner, huh? Mmm. Not you. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Now you a sleeper. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody. <laughs> Arthur, bro. Recognizing us. There's two right, into this. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Go back. Whoa, girl. Whoa, girl. Oh boy. I know it. Okay, tough guy. Easy now. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Two good okay. hooks. You're gonna lead the stallions. <laughs> This horse hey, dumb as hell now. if he trusts me. It's okay. <laughs> Hitting them up with uh, haymakers, bro. Those weren't just punches, those were haymakers. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's oh, go quick. Damn. Already. Get going, you two. I want to. What the hell you doing? Let's go. Stop! Stop! Damn, he done with. Let's go! Oh, that is an oh, enemy. Just run him over. Oh. You deserve all that. Stop, man! Look out ahead! Ah! Damn it! Ah. They're gonna get you, Arthur. Come on, get up. Come on, baby. What are you doing, Arthur? You know. Yeah. <laughs> Fing <Yeah>. up. <laughs> Wait, what is the button to look back? That's for this. Oh, you know. Can I get my weapon out? Uh, which one should I use? This one. Repeater. It should be okay. What happened? Ran into a tree. Okay. Okay. That was a hard tree. Get going, you two. I'll All right, here we go. You doing? None now. Hey, Arthur. You know what? Let's not worry about shooting. Oh my gosh, again? <laughs> hey, who said hell yeah? That was kind of cool, though. I did a whole flip. Get down so I can get on you. This is... Oh my gosh. I'm right here. I'm right here. Watch Let's go. Yep. Gotcha. Oh my gosh. Oh, they put, I think they put a buff on my guns. They did. Because everything's one shot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, I'm a sharpshooter right now. Oh, he was minding his business. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was literally minding his business. Bro, 
Crow is just doing his work. And now he can't never. I think we lost him. This horse got shot. We need to cure that right now. Booty shot. No, look out! There's more of them on the road! These dudes got paintballs? Cause that's our that's like a perfect booty blow. You see any more of them? No? Don't think so. Alright. Whoa, you okay there, boy? I don't think so. That mug going loose. Oh well, shit. Dying, I got loose. you. I got Keep you. Going. What is what does I need? A lasso, huh? I'll get him! Whoa, whoa. This way. This way now. Okay, let's actually. What if I ride this one? Come here. I'm about to get drugged. Whoa. Why did my horse run over there too, though? You are not a good influence. Boy, whatever you are, please do not kick me. So what? A oh, effed up. Come on. Not entirely sure on what I'm supposed to be doing. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, can't you like horse talk this mug? Horse talk him. You know, just put this away. Just calm my horse down first. Shh. We're right here. It's okay. I see his nuts. It's a boy. That's what I know. Gotcha. Come on now. So now what? Am I supposed to do this? What if I just get on the horse? Might have to exchange horses, Loki. I like a black horse. They look cool. Hey Morgan! Over here! Gotcha. You got it. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. All right. Will they be Let's mad? Will they be mad if they see me riding it? Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Now that I think of it, was, weren't the Braithwaite's telling each other not to shoot the horses? There's two horses that were shot. Don't be following orders, bro. Howdy, y'all. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That uh, so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. Y'all twins? twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. Jesus Christ. So, maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, what? Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. I don't think I was told that. But I like you boys. <laughs> But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here. Okay, what does Pop mean? Or does that mean... Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys. Especially, dude. Nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. 
Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Should we rob him? Get the horses back? Nope. All right. See. The yarns spun us by one of that gray family. And imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. But you see how. You see where my brain goes and how like I in a situation like this would not do well. I said to rob the people we we told to. Arthur. Mm hmm. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well. I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, I would have even thought... Multiple times, Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me... I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Lead the way, huh? Even though you want me to go on this expedition with you, you want me to lead the way. Okay. I can get around now. Sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, yeah, cause... Appearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden is quite a fellow and very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts ah i see so this did so what's his name has been here longer than we have because he was here already locked up by the time we got here here we are we can hitch up outside so it only I'll makes make sense so it only makes sense that you got your connections let me hitch up over here. Oh, he got that banjo. Hear it? That was some ride, girl. Bing, bang, a ding, ring, ding. Oh, that's not a banjo. That's just a crackhead. Hi, uh, folks. Morning, mister. Keep going, bro. Go crazy. Broke that shit. Okay. Pause, pause, pause. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. All right. We don't want to scare him off. I don't like talking anyways. Unless it's you. I was about to punch him. 
But it didn't let me. Is this, what's his name? That I talked to a last time? It's gonna be him, yes it is. Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. how have you been? Dandy, and you, friend? Still don't remember the name. Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. Alden? My friend Arthur here has a present for you. This... Hey, Mr. Scrooge, how you doing? Yeah, I, I looked the name up. Kind, sir. Yep, I've seen Call you before. Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Josiah, I think he like you. Also, his, uh, his mouth sound very wet. Some of the things he was saying had too much wetness on it. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Hey there, girl. I need a People just won't stop talking shit, bro. I'm getting okay, on my horse. Go. This way. And he has something to say about it. Hey, you listen to old, old Brody over here? Yeah! You were, he the real business. He go with that. What does it sound like? You know those, the door stoppers? What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. Sorry, I have to say this. The thing that stops the door from hitting the wall, that when you you do this, you, it goes. You know what I'm talking about? If you hit it. OK, I'm done. The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that mock. Yeah, that was nuts. It didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. <laughs> We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. So something's gonna go wrong. Cause I don't think they put that in there if everything's gonna go smoothly. Every time I try to rob a stagecoach, something goes wrong. Oh. Okay. This should do. Sure. It should. Ooh. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> I can do this silently. Well, I'm Pick hoping lock. complete silence Lockpick. won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. 
Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. You're right. will be here soon. You right, you right. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster. Okay, I got you, bro. It's gonna be hard, but I'll do it. I'll ride oh. ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. <laughs> okay, just come up to you singing. Like, that would be so annoying. I would have to shoot you. Don't come up to the side of my shit with singing that. Not at all. I'm preparing for a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit. Blackwater. Just Mrs. Chester Dancer. <laughs> I flatter. <laughs> Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Okay, Bridget, she said, she said, stop the coach, man. Is he drifting? The New York audience, they were supposed to creep up. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Could you? It's it's such a small show, but would you see something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Whoa. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Where the security at, bro? Oh, see, like that. Let me get off the horse. Don't creep up on him. Let's go. Creep up, Nick. Creep up, Nick. We're gonna get up in there. Keep singing, girl. You can do it. Give me all that, yo. Eva detected. Welcome. Let us sing, Playboy. I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. That's so easy. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Easy. Too easy. Yeah. I'm gonna just call you T. Hey, T. That's some evil work you doing, boy. You good at acting. You too good. Done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. I didn't want to have to pop the lady. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Okay, so that wasn't useless. We got money and a lockpick. Oh, Jose is over here. Okay. Yes, I got a deer on the back. Deer got on my way, ran him over, and it died. So... Now it's coming with me. Maybe I can give it as a gift. Would that be weird? Howdy. Hey, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. That's all I have to say. 
Damn, y'all easy. Everybody easy in this game. They don't like frisk me. They don't search for nothing. Just let me come in with my guns. It ain't no Thanksgiving feast, but that squirrel do not for you. Right on, man. I like to hear it. Are we going in the crib now? Oh, snap. Got a black man open up the doors. At least I don't see you in the fields. Good luck. Please come in, sir. You got that professional voice, sir. Way, sir. I never heard no black man talk like that. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Oh, Sean is here. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. Goodness, well, man. He's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he oh. is as dumb as he looks, but I think it's because I played well, that he's part. Not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Damn, that was. Hosea. You know how to hit him. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. The thing he did with his nose. Nasty. He did in a nose opener. All right, hey, let's get this over with. That. That's the shit you do in the morning where you just oh, woke you up. See, I said I should drive. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smoke fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Oh snap. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the old bitch. Damn. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah. He was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weights still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. You just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. <laughs> so, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. We can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> yeah, we know. You've been talking this whole time. Yeah. Can we go a little faster now. I've been whipping these horses this like crazy. They're gonna have stretch marks tomorrow. And it's crazy that they don't live that far away from each other either. I wonder if one of them has like a spy or somebody in the back just trying to like infiltrate. Whoa! Hold up a second. Okay. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah. Mm. You're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide in the back. You Here. didn't think of that? You can act naturally. Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. 
They really wanted me to attack this, don't they? We're here. Stay out of sight. All you do is talk. Hey, hold it right there. Let me get a little closer to you. Now I'll hold it. Oh, shit. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing. Team. At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, huh? They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, so I'll show you about to look up in here. Oh, he about to give you a smooch. Oh, okay. 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 Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. I like you, Sean. Good job. Being a human. <coughs> Hamish. Yeah, be feeling that. To meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. Hey, Miss Bumpy back here. Come from Scotland. Is that right? Oh, damn. You and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with my fingers, y'all? Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Have we seen Mr. Bunch Gray yet? His lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. So Y'all were like best friends now? <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Oh. By the place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest place. Hold that thought, Sean. Hold that thought, Sean. <laughs> Damn. I was gonna choke him out, but I, I kind of didn't want to like. How you getting off on? Him. Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. So I'll have makeup on. The back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down matter houses. We'll burn quietly. Okay, so my thing, will I be able to come back after this? Boy, there's someone coming on the left. There's also somebody on the right. Ooh, that was not... Okay, that was the left. 
Huh? Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. Ooh. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the. Dang, he got his knife out. See you later. It's a long one. Here, Doc. Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Imagine being back in this time, bro. It's probably not always like this. It might not have been like this at all, but dang. That? One, you douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. All right, bro. Try to stay out of trouble. Oh, poet. Oh. This is just a low spot. Oh, shit. There's somebody right there. That's good. You don't even know. I just dropped the whole thing. There's Sean right there. You about to put him out with that knife. I want to see this. G.I. Joe style. Come on. We give this a quick dose as well. Oh, I don't have my thing on me. Oh, you doing it. Okay. Oh, man, you going crazy. Think you go, Arthur. Hold on, hold on. Equipped fire bottles. Let me get out of here first. I'll give you four stars. Come on, then. <laughs> hey, well, let's go lay ourselves a flat cigar. You pay for this. Make your pay. Oh, you got these fellas, you said? Oh, you need help now. Right now we got ah. Where? From where? Right here, bro. Oh, they're over here. I swear, I thought. Come on! Damn. Everything on fire. Come on! Come on. That's how you want to do it. Come on. Oh, hey, shot in your drawers. I mean, not your uh, pajamas. Might as well. Nice guy. Watch your gunfire. Watch your gunfire, Sean. Long minute. I think he in his he literally in his pajamas. Oh. He seems to be taking it well. This is a goddamn mess. Let's get the pistols out. A Kimbo. Alright, where is This way! Come on. I'm literally just running. I think we're Braithwaite's. Good. Ouch. They cheating. I can't see him. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing. Yeah, why would they tell us, though? I gotta think about it. Oh, 
Jose had better get us paid real well for this. Bloody right. Yep. Hold on, hold on, because I am dying. Said all your partners. Let's go. I want them dead. Said all your dead homies. This is what it's all about. Oh, Glad you're having fun. Oh, you see that? Hey, there it is. Hey, you haven't unloaded that cash yet. Oh, you talk about this one. Bad. Hold on, is there money in the back? In there. Hold the focus on the horses. Oh, Eat boy. a cut free. What? Hey, but let's go. Yeah, you get them horses free, Marker. Oh, let me get the other one. Right? Or what am I doing? Oh, wait for Sean. Oh, that's what you're doing. Let's get out of this shit hole. Okay. I got the black one. Dan needs some big horses. I feel big. He about to fall off the horse. That blade weight I got a money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Hey, you good. Don't worry. I mean, not my horse, but shit. Might be a close second, maybe. I think we lost him. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah. Sure. Let's ride. Thousand, y'all. I got a thousand in the chamber, in the, in the, in, the, in the pocket. Damn. Get the horse out of here. All right, simmer down. Sorry, bro. Sorry. All right, y'all. That's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, we just torched the Gray's fields. Now they don't know it was me because we literally bodied pretty much everybody in that place. Um, the Braithwaite's are now kind of like on top i would say because getting your whole field burnt down damn that's gonna put you back a lot because now you gotta wait for that shit to burn up people gonna die i just don't know who but if you do want to see who and you don't know keep watching because it's gonna get interesting i promise you now let me stop yapping if you guys like the video, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and loose. Ooh.